Cisco WebEx Calling is an enterprise cloud-based phone system giving administrators an easy control panel to configure and manage how calls flow throughout their organization. This video demonstrates how to configure inbound calling through auto attendance, hunt groups, and call queues. These features can all be configured from the WebEx Control Hub portal in the Calling Services section. Just click the Features option from the top right. By default, the user lands on the Auto Attendant section of the Features page. To start the new Auto Attendant Creation Wizard, click the Create Auto Attendant button. Choose your location, give the Auto Attendant a name, and assign a DID number and or an internal extension number. Choose your language and fill in the caller ID information, then click Next. Create your business hours schedule and give it a descriptive name, then click Next. Create or choose a holiday schedule. In our case, we'll choose none to have no holidays for this demo. Click Next. Choose your main menu options and then click Next. Don't worry, these options can be edited later and additional menus can be created to make for more complex flows. Also, don't forget to set your menu options for after hours as well. We'll click Next to move on. Here, you can use the default greeting, or you can record a greeting right now through the browser using your computer's microphone. Additionally, you can follow the instructions in the link to record a greeting through your phone or another method and upload the WAV file. For this demo, we'll stick with the default greeting and click Next. In this last step, you can review your settings and then click Create to complete the wizard and activate the auto attendant. Next, let's click into the Hunt Group section and walk through creating a simple hunt group. Click Create Hunt Group. Choose your location and an optional pilot number and click Create. Now that the hunt group is created, let's click the three dots on the right of our newly created hunt group and click Edit. This opens the Calling Administrator Portal, or CAP, allowing you to further customize the hunt group. In the Incoming Call section, we can give our hunt group a name and edit other properties. In our case, we'll change the extension to 5001. Click Save. If needed, you can change the language by clicking Language, but we're leaving it at its default of English. Next, we'll edit the routing algorithm by clicking the Call Routing section. In the Call Routing section, you can choose from the different options on how calls should be delivered to members of the hunt group. Additionally, you can choose how you want calls to ring for certain contingencies, such as when a phone is busy or if all phones are unavailable. In our case, we'll choose to ring all phones at once and skip any phones that are currently busy. Hit Save when you're finished. The final step in creating your hunt group is to click the Phones section and add phones to your hunt group. Once in the Phones section, search for the user with phones you want to add to the hunt group. Keep in mind that order matters depending on your selections under Call Routing. Once completed, click Save. For the final part of this video, we'll go back to the WebEx Control Hub and click on the Call Queue section. To start configuring a call queue, click Create Call Queue. Like with Hunt Groups, select a location and optionally include a pilot number and click Create. In our case, we'll only select a location. We'll choose the pilot number later. With the call queue created, we'll click the new queue and then click Edit to go to the Calling Administrator portal for further customization. This time, we will provide the details in the incoming call section for call queue name, extension, and caller ID, and then click Save. We'll leave the language at defaults again and review the queue settings page. Under the queue settings page, we'll leave the options at default, but we'll expand the advanced settings page so that you can see how you can further customize your queue with a welcome message or periodic comfort message. Next, let's configure the call routing properties. Here, you can affect how calls are routed to queue agents. For this demo, we'll choose a longest idle method of routing calls. We'll leave the other options at their defaults and then click Save. After saving your changes, click into Agents and select the users who will service calls to this queue. You'll notice that this page looks exactly the same as the phone section of the hunt groups. Just like that, we'll select our users and hit Save when done. Pay attention to the order of your agents if your call routing algorithm uses a top-down or circular routing method. 
Next, if your company wants call queues for inbound calling, you likely also want to report on how calls to those queues are being handled. WebEx Calling has methods for reporting call queue statistics. First, we'll show you how to generate quick reports and then how to generate more comprehensive reports. Click on the X in the upper right to view the call queues in the Calling Administrator portal. Click the Actions button for the Customer Service Call Queue and choose Edit Service. Then click on Reporting to generate quick reports for your call queues. This is a section that after your queue has been active for a while, will allow you to create reports covering certain time periods so you can review how your queues are performing. This page provides quick stats for the current and previous few days. When you're finished here, just click Done. When you're done, you'll be taken back to the call queues listing in the Calling Administrator portal. From this section, you can enable or disable queues. If you need to run reports for queue stats going back more than just a few days, click into the report section and select the criteria for your report. Since we just created our queue, we won't generate a report as it will be empty. In this video, we demonstrated the WebEx Calling simple management interface to create an auto attendant, hunt group, and call queue with just a few clicks. While easy to create, these functions can allow for complex call flows that satisfy the inbound calling needs for organizations of any size. In our next video, we will demonstrate the call reporting function of WebEx Calling provided by Dubber that uses AI for automatic call transcription along with many other features.